In today's video, you're going to learn how to translate your captions so you can have two different language captions burned into your video at the same time. Let's jump on in. So here inside of my timeline, I have this AI commercial or more of a storyboard that I generated. Let me just play a little bit of it because there's a narrator. In the heart of the city, a little Dalmatian puppy found himself all alone. We already have the English transcript because Premiere Pro's AI text-to-speech already transcribed it for us. I already went through this and there are no errors. But if you need a language that's not supported in Premiere, like Arabic, I recommend Rev, which currently supports captions in 38 plus languages. And I know they're working on adding more. So now let's turn the transcript into captions in our timeline. So click on this little CC button. And here you can begin to stylize them and choose your character length and duration in seconds. Let's say we want to adjust the maximum length to 30 characters, and we'll keep it at three seconds. And let's do single line only. For style, we'll talk about just a little later on. So then we can click on create captions. So now we have our basic captions here inside of our timeline, and we will stylize them to make them look better in a moment, but Låt oss översätta detta till ett annat språk. Now, Premiere Pro doesn't have AI translation into a new language. I'm sure it's something that we'll probably see in the future. But what I always do for 100% accuracy, human translation is refer people to Rev because they have the most accurate and fastest translation for English two different languages. And right now, Rev only supports the translation of English videos into these languages here on screen, but I'm sure it's something that they're working on. So let's go ahead and order some global subtitles from English to Italian. Here in my account, I'm going to place new order. And here you can choose from a variety of different options here, both human created transcripts and captions or AI versions. In this case, we're going to use the global subtitles, which is also human based. It's so funny that we're even distinguishing between that now. What a crazy age we live in. Anyway, next here I can drag in the video file that I want to translate and then I can choose which language I want to translate it to. And it's $8 per minute. And this is just a 35 second commercial. So I still have to pay $8 for it, which is still a great fee. Now it's much cheaper just to transcribe for a normal human transcription. It's $1.50 per minute. So the main reason why it's more right now is that it's translation. It's not just transcription. Beneath this, you can also choose to have them burn in the new captions into the video. It's just an additional 30 cents per minute, but because I'm an editor and I have Premiere Pro, I'm going to stylize them myself, so I'm not going to select this option. Since we already have the English captions in Premiere Pro, I'm actually going to go back to Premiere Pro and export the English captions as a .srt file, so that way they can produce the Italian captions at the same time more accurately. And then I'll add it here to my order. So now everything is good and I can place my order and I'll get an email when it's ready. By the way, I'm Kelsey. I'm the creator here of Premiere Gal. And if this video is helping you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget that I link to all the tools that I use just down below so you can go review and check it out. There's also time coded chapters so you can pause at any time and you can rewind to review any section based on those chapters. While we wait for our translation, we can go in and stylize our English captions in Premiere Pro. So here we just need to select one of our captions and then we can go over here to Essential Graphics graphics, and this is all the power to stylize, reposition, add a background, all that stuff is here. So let's go ahead and change the font first. Let's do Simplicita, medium, and let's bump this up so it's not in the letter boxes here. And let's add in a background so we can read it. Let's try a black background here, and let's increase the opacity so it's solid. We can increase the padding and add rounded corners if we want as well. And let's decrease the font size to about 40. Something like that is good. So now you can see, well, the other ones haven't been stylized yet, just this one. But don't worry because you can go up here and you can click on this plus icon and you can create a style. And let's just call this Dalmatian. And now it's saved. And all the other captions here have this same look. So you don't have to do it to each individual caption. So let's say that you want to export this version with the English captions only, with them burned in. Just go up to export. I recommend using match source adaptive high bitrate H.264 and save it as anything. And the captions are automatically added here and just click export. And I just got an email from Rev that my translation is done. It only took 35 minutes for them to do. 
which is awesome. But now the question is, what if we want to have two captions at the same time? So one in Italian and one in English on top of each other. Let me show you one issue that is currently inside of Premiere Pro, but then I have a workaround on how to fix that so we can do it. To import the Italian captions, we can turn off the visibility of the subtitle. And as soon as we do that, if we go back up to the text panel, underneath captions, we're given this option to import captions from file. And this is exactly what we need. We need to import the Italian captions. Here are my Italian captions, press import, and you can choose the same style that we just created, that Dalmatian style. And now you can see that we have our Italian captions. If we scrub through here, you can see it also translated, or I should say he or she translated our little subtitle, a short AI film about the comfort of food, they translated that. And you can see they also added a narrator, which is actually useful. So let me turn off the Italian and go to English here. And I will add the same because it's good to have that information. Okay, so you'll notice that when I try to turn on the English, it won't let me have both of them on at the same time. But how do we get both on here? And why can't we do this in Premiere in the captioning tracks? I hope that they'll add this capability, but I did come up with a workaround. For the English track here, we can select all of the captions and go up to graphics and titles and go to upgrade caption to graphic. And what this did, if I make this bigger, is it basically turned the captions into graphics text layers, which is very similar to a caption, but it has its own separate controls here that are similar, but a little bit more advanced than what you can do with just the captions. So we have these graphics layers and now the Italian track on top. So now what we can do is we can reposition the Italian and change the color so we can see it more clearly. So let's select this first one here and let's move it up so you can see it above the English. And let's change, for example, the background color to a green color so it stands out. So now you can see that we did that and now we can go up here and we can add this style, create style, Italian Dalmatian. And now all the Italian subtitles have that look stacked on top of each other. So if I want to raise the English above the Italian from the graphic layer now, select it, go to effect controls and bring it up above and then press command C to copy it. Lasso and select all of them now, right click, paste attributes, motion, okay. And now the English is above. And we do have a little bit more work here because you notice one of the Italian captions has a double line here. So I'm going to undo that. I want the English beneath, that's fine. But now we need to fix this double. So we can actually just click at the beginning of this word and press the backspace to make it one line on top. So now it's all fixed up. And the cool thing here is that I know this translation is 100% accurate because they're a professional, they speak Italian fluently. There are AI tools that are out there that can translate, but they're really sometimes a hit or a miss, especially when it comes to translation. So now that we have both of our captioning styles on top of each other, we can go up to export, give it a new name, let's just call it dual because it has two languages. And then we'll use these same settings and hit export. And both of the languages will now be burned into the video. And if you also need to just have a version just with the Italian, you can actually go in here and you can select all of the English this time. And you can press command shift E or control shift E if you're on a Windows and it will disable that. And then up here, you can go in and control the position if you want to, if you want to bring it down or just leave it as is, go to export and export the Italian only. And of course you can choose not to have any captions burned in at all. Just turn off the captioning track. And when you go to the text panel, you can export this as a .srt file again. And you know, you can save it to your computer. Let's say this is uploaded to Vimeo or YouTube or another platform that supports closed captions. You can upload that .srt file for both Italian and English and people can choose to have them turned on. If you wanna learn more about different captioning tools, you can click right over here to watch another video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time, bye. Mm-hmm.